a comedy drama and it's about a bunch of retired Brits who for various reasons are not able to afford life in London and so they outsource their retirement to exotic India. So they come to the best exotic Marigold Hotel and it turns out to be anything other than what they expected because it's, as you may have seen in the promo, it's a dilapidated building. So, uh, but they can't afford to go back so they're stuck here for uh, whatever period of time and it's their experience while in India and how it transforms them. My role is the love interest of Sunny, which is Dev Patel, and it's about me mainly trying to deal with the resistance from Sunny's mother for marriage because I belong to a different community. And as with any ensemble cast, there are multiple tracks, so I also work at a call center that Judy Dench gets in a, uh, a job at. You know, we also build a relationship, so she helps Sunny stand up and fight for me because she has a liking and you know, so it, it's fun. It's comedy drama So I have like some really interesting scenes as well. So you should see it I think if your writing is brilliant then you're helped over there because also it's also about Characterization, right? So writing characters di directors together comes in and helps make a comedy work So I definitely had tremendous help from my director from my co-actors and from the ri lines that I were given was given so if it came out funny, it's I think everything, you know, any film, whatever the genre, it has to be a collaboration of talent and that's what it was on this film as well. They're all such experienced, established actors and they're not just, they're not in love with themselves. So they're very rooted, they're very real. So you tend to forget that you're talking to such big people, you know, you have to keep reminding yourself because they don't make you aware of the fact that you're talking to them, which is just very gracious of them. Yeah. Avengers, uh, Eat, Pray, Love, you know, Slumdog, um, Catherine Bigelow's shooting, her film about Osama mm -hmm. in India. So there is tremendous interest in India, which is brilliant. It's it's a great time for us, I think. Even for actors as a location, as a culture, it's just there's just so much interest in India. Even even business wise, if you see, India's just making its mark everywhere, which is just so cool because um, I'm at the start of my career and it's great that I'm at, that I have the opportunity to be a part of more films possibly i'm not i'm not sure um but it's it's brilliant that there's so much interest in india because you just feel proud um of the country finally being recognized internationally the response has been brilliant um which is very exciting it's finally nice to be a part of a film that's being well received um internationally it's breaking records it's done uh, i've been told it's done business better than than the artist um the queen black swan um, the King's Speech, mainly the demographic that they were looking at was above 50, but it's surpassed that and younger people are watching the film as well, which is brilliant. And I think it's covered, the, the last I checked was it's done a business of 88, 89 million dollars, so it's brilliant and it's just opening up in more theatres, it's a slow rollout in the US, so it's opening up in more theatres and plus India is also doing really well.